you know, I find it constantly amazing that in the 21st century, um, we are still dealing with, with wars that actually 90% of this casualty are civilians, 75% are of them are women and children. I find it amazing and shocking that 80% of worldwide refugees are still women and children. I find it uh, amazing that still 2.5 of the 2.5 billion people who are defined as poor women in this world, women compromise two-thirds of them and that women only own 1% of the land in this world. It is not uh, practical even uh, to do that. Uh, we, we spent this morning and this afternoon talking about democracy and development, the social, the economic, and the political aspects of it. And one of the things that we learned at Women for Women International is actually women are bellwether for the society. Often uh, bad things often start with women and good things often start with women. Violence such as the one committed by the Taliban first started with women. And everyone looked the other directions because we thought it's the culture or the religion or whatever, where eventually that violence impacted all of us. Um, there are many, every country that has violence against women has its own story of how the nation has actually been impacted by that violence. Women are indicators for the directions of the society. There are not only moral reasons why we should give women the justice of having equality and full representation at the negotiating table when we are talking about the building of peace, the building of sustainable democracies and economies. There are practical reasons why we need to do that. Because there is no way we can talk about building strong nations without the building of strong, without having strong women. Strong women do lead to strong nations and that's one of the things that we have seen. I'm actually so, I, I feel that this award is not only for Women for Women International. This is about for, it's an acknowledgement for the, the importance of women and their role. And I'm so glad the captain here to celebrate, uh, to celebrate your uh, celebration here. Um, it is about time that we get into the negotiating tables. It is about time that we are hurt fully, not in a, in a checkbox that we are checked. Because, again, we are the ones, I find it amazing that the only group that does not find, that, that does not fight, that does not pillage, that does not burn, that does not rebel, that does not actually do any damage, and the only group of the, of the society that actually build and work more on education and health and food does not get represented. You know, we should be rewarded for actually building societies and getting education and food and building our communities. And that is one of the things that we work at Women for Women International. We need, when we are talking about how do we help people, how do we help people recover from war? Peace, as I learned in the process, not only personally as a survivor of war, but as someone who works with other survivors of wars. Peace is interpreted as my life improving, as I'm able now to provide good food for my children and good education for my children and good health. And that's how we need to actually address how do we build peace. And that is how what Women for Women International does. We, through the sponsorship program, through the connections that we are building, through that $27 a month that is going to each woman, we're actually helping her meet her immediate economic needs, the needs to eat and to send her kids to school. But we're immediately training her in business skills, in vocational skills, in women's rights, in women's political, social, economic role and value in the society so we can help her meet long-term economic solutions or address long-term economic solutions. We measure success by our ability to help the women stand on their feet and rebuild their lives once again and get jobs at the end of the day and vote and participate and become active citizens in their own communities.